As long as you're air down, we all have four low, I think we're good. Okay. I think we all got four low. Yeah. Uh-oh, the XJ's doing XJ things. What are we doing? We are out with Riley Timmons and Outlaw Wheelers. We are uh, jumping right into it apparently. So we're down in Salida, Colorado this weekend and we're hanging out with these guys. They offered to take us out on a trail. We're gonna be doing Dead Horse Gulch and it wouldn't be an adventure without adventuring to the adventure. So we're still on our way to the trail and this is what we got going on. I think we're gonna air down. So uh, Justin took our patties off of the XJ. We've got a big buggy build coming for that XJ, so stay tuned. We're gonna give you guys some cool videos of... Are you camping, Jay? Yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm Sean. Damien. Nice to meet you. We do that whole uh, YouTube thing. Where are we going? Uh, <laughs> through here goes to the bottom of S Mountain, and okay. then we're gonna go up Dead Horse. Okay. Through Dead Horse Trail, and then we'll probably hang out at U Trail, find a good camp spot, and if we want to go out again, totally. But sounds good. Tell me, what's Dead Horse like? Uh, Dead Horse is pretty. There's a couple good, like there's a couple lines that we could, like the harder trucks could take. Yeah. And um, as long, I mean, as long as you're air down, we all have four low. I think we're good. Okay. I think we all got four low. Yeah. We got the sway bars off, we got the tires aired down. Damien's leading us out now, and we're off to find some pretty gnarly stuff. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get in today. The drive into the trail was a nice scenic and moderately rocky trail. They took us over some hills and some steep declines, but overall wasn't too bad. We pulled off here to kind of regroup and get ready for Dead Horse Trail or County Road 176. Uh-oh, the XJ's doing XJ things. Oh, there's a lot of pressure in that. I want to release the pressure. Oh, just twist that. Oh, yeah. no thanks. <laughs> All right, so Justin's Jeep's running hot. It's super pressurized in there, so we're gonna try and burp some of the pressure out of it to just relieve the system. Well, let's take this hood off. Your you shit. You got the, yeah, you got the bed off. The bed of the truck. The bed of the truck. So the solution uh, was when we pulled over maximum there, airflow. And I so this is a good example why you will with friends. Um, if you're solo, this could be pretty freaky. Fortunately though, who this is happening to is Justin from Red Bearded Mechanics. He is on Facebook, go at him. He's a good guy. Go hit up Red Bearded Mechanics. Give them a like and show them some love. All right, we think we got it fixed. Had to throw two types of coolant in, some water. But as you can hear, the heat soak's gone, so we're back on the trail. Let's keep heading forward. They tell you to find purpose in life, and it's a funny one. I do believe we are destined for great things. Justin's heat soak was fixed just in time for things to really take it up a notch on this trail. Everybody, everybody. The view from above does not do this hill justice. We've come up to our first optional obstacle on Dead Horse Trail, and none of us wanted to pass it up. Having the correct gear ratio for the new tires and lift in Gremlin, and the combination of an e-locker in the front, 
It made easy work of going up this one obstacle. Things on this trail are really starting to heat up and we are all having a good time. Just around the next corner, we ran into the next obstacle, which was mandatory. This is where the Jeeps on 35s began the struggle on the hard line. The Silver Gladiator and I both had to use a little skid plate to get up over the hard line. I still haven't come, picked come which way. wheels I want for the Gremlin yet, and that has caused me to have an incorrect Turn. offset, which makes turning in places like Turn. this a tad difficult. Turn. From this obstacle, we had pretty much a long length of rocky shelf road on and off <laughs> section until we came up to the third optional obstacle it. that does have an easier line to the right. But of course, we all wanted to play on it, and we took the left. What's up? Do you want to anchor? Here. Pulled over to let people by and uh, we slide down the hill. We go around here. I'd say, I'd say pull this thing like all the way over here. So here's the situation. Uh, Jay got himself in a very canted pickle. <laughs> so we're getting him hooked up with lines right now so he doesn't go tumbling down the hill. And we're gonna try and ease the Jeep forward, keeping keeping a, his body roll kind of down. I gotta go do this. Keep releasing that winch. Good. Once he goes. I just can't go too far because then if yeah, he starts yeah, yeah. to roll, I might as well be disconnected. Yep. Yeah. What? You're good. Thank you guys! Oh, you. You. We 
got him out. We we're back on the trail. Got pretty tippy there for a sec. Yeah. That was that was probably the tippiest recovery I've done to date. Sorry to tell you, Jay, I winged it. Glad it worked though. The trail's going good. It's getting progressively gnarlier. We're actually hitting some snow right now, which is cool. Um, this is County Road 176. And I emphasize County Road, Motor Vehicle Road 176. And I emphasize it because we've already had, I don't know how many incidents of both mountain bikers, hikers, and dirt bikers get mad at us for being on this four-wheel trail guided by Damien like like we are doing something wrong. We're doing absolutely nothing wrong. This is a motor vehicle trail. It's a little sketch, like yeah, it's thin, but at the end of the day, it is County Road 176 and we're allowed to be here. All right, all trail drama aside, let's get back to what we got going on on the trail. The snow was building up and we weren't sure what we were in for headed deeper. Well, for all of our British Columbia friends, welcome to America. This is what we've got to deal with. This trail is fine to travel right now, and they're not going to let us have access to it until April 15th. Alright guys, so we're turning around. Um, we couldn't get a hold of Forest Service, so we're going to have to backtrack out of this trail. Onyx, you can see here on the, on the screen, Onyx shows that it's completely open. There's no seasonal closure, um, but I mean, we didn't even see a gate, which was kind of shady for a service just saying um but they've closed it from december 1st to april 15th to all motorized vehicles and it is what it is guys i mean this is just kind of how it goes sometimes and it's frustrating but you got to play by the rules and but regardless this part of the trail remains open it's up to that sign that's closed. Uh, so far, this area is amazing. I love it. We definitely need to keep it open. And I can't wait to come back here. These guys are awesome to wheel with. And everybody's having a great time. And go join Outlaw Wheelers and our new Facebook group we just opened, Pueblo County 4x4 Off-Roaders. So thanks for joining us on this one, guys. It's been a great night. And thanks for everyone who came out. You made for an awesome video. I can't wait to show y'all. And don't forget to subscribe. Helps us out a lot.